Uh, my name's Ken Heal. I farm a sheep grazing enterprise of 1,400 hectares in the Goulburn Murray Catchment Management. Uh, the property is centrally located in the geographical centre of Victoria. Uh, the issue that we're discussing today is a serious erosion problem that we finally rectified after 35 years. And my history research tells me that this was a problem over 100 years ago. I had three goes at it, spending quite a bit of money, and we couldn't resolve it. And we finally came upon a formula that has worked, obviously, by the shot here, because this was a moonscape. There was no uh, grazing value in it at all. It was an eyesore. You could the erosion was that bad you couldn't even ride over it on a four-wheel motorbike. The Beyond Soil Care grant enabled me to um, rectify this serious problem here. Our first go at rehabilitating this when I bought the place in 1981 was 1982, where we sewed it down with a chisel seeder in conventional pasture uh, and with conventional fertiliser. Uh, that year was a drought year an exceptional drought year, so it was a partial failure. And the erosion kept on worsening after that. In uh, 2000, we once again, we got a bulldozer in and ripped it again. And that's when we tried to establish trees. Uh, 2000, I planted the trees, they failed. 2001, I planted the trees and they all died. Uh, and that's where I came up with uh, another idea of trying to rectify this problem. And that was getting grasses to establish. Now, it's very difficult to get grasses to establish where you've got zero nutrient level in the soil. It's a virtually sterile environment to get everything to, to take. So we got a dozer in here, deep ripped it, and then he pushed it back with the blade to level it out, uh, which was a detailed and quite expensive little project. And then we spread superphosphate on it conventionally. Then we put a ton of gypsum per acre or two and a half tons per hectare. And the same with lime, two and a half tons of lime per hectare. We came in in 2015 and direct drilled pasture into it. Um, against my better judgment, but I could see the season was failing, but the powers that be wanted to run with that and that was a failure. Last year, 2016, uh, we got a little bit of funding left over and we came in and we sowed this same method with direct drilling seed, uh, grass seeds. Uh, we sowed this just prior to a rain and you can see what happens when you get your timing right. If you could see the contrast on what's happened with the trees over there, there's no cover underneath the trees where we planted the trees. It creates a monoculture and doesn't resolve the issue of soil erosion. Grasses do, as you can see what it's like here, there's such a, an intense cover, particularly on this aspect, which is a northwesterly aspect, which is far, far more problematic, far more hostile to get plants to grow in because it's hotter and drier. Uh, you can see what we've established here. And this, with control grazing, uh, will be here forever. The area is fully fenced to manage stock. There hasn't been any stock in here yet since we sowed it in May in 2016. And I'll leave that for a couple of years to enable the grasses to set a good body of seed and have a good reservoir of seed on the ground. Uh, this, this project, Brad Coston and I nutted this one out and we were working probably a little bit more radical than conventional thinking. We wanted to explore other dimensions to resolving this quite serious issue. And bear it in mind, I'm in my mid sixties and I wanted to die leaving this place far better than what it looked. And I spent 35 years of my life looking at this ugly hill and now we've resolved it. So I'm quite happy. It's probably the last major erosion project on the place. 
that has to be addressed. There's a few other cosmetic ones, but this was one of the major eyesores, and I'm quite pleased that Brad was enthused with my recommendations. And he put it all together without him 